Hello and welcome to Learn A-Level Biology for Free with Miss Estrick. Today's video is on the cell-mediated response or cellular response of immunity. And this focuses on the T lymphocytes and the T cells. If you are new here, then make sure you click subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And if you do like today's video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you want to make notes as you go through, then just grab a pen and paper now and pause whenever you need to. So the T lymphocytes or T cells for short, these are involved in the specific immune response. So this is the second line of defense after a pathogen has got into the bloodstream. So all lymphocytes are made in the bone marrow. The reason that these ones are called T cells though, is because the T cells mature in the thymus. And the thymus is this organ just here. The cell mediated response is the response involving the T cells. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. And when we say specific immune response, we mean it is the response to an exact antigen or cell surface molecule. So antigen presenting cells. Now I briefly mentioned this in the first video in immunity. If you've not seen that, then just click here so you can see that one first. APC for short. Now these are any cell that presents a non-self antigen on their cell surface membrane. So that could be an infected body cell which has a virus inside. And that will then present the viral antigen on the cell membrane. Or it could be one of the phagocytes, such as a macrophage. After phagocytosis and it has engulfed and destroyed a pathogen, it will then present the antigens on its surface. It could be cells of a transplanted organ, which will also have different shaped antigens compared to your own self cell antigens. Or abnormal cells, such as cancer cells. They will also have slightly different shaped self cell antigens. So all of these we'd class as antigen presenting cells. And it is these cells which trigger the cell mediated response. But first, why it is called cell mediated instead of just the T cell response? Well, it's called the cell mediated response because it is just to do with the T cells, but the T cells will only respond to antigens which are presented on antigen presenting cells. So it's cell mediated because it's only the response of T cells to antigens on the outside of the membrane of cells. It won't be, um, the T cells will not be responding to any antigens which are just floating in the blood or other bodily fluids. So what the response actually is then? Step one, once a pathogen has been engulfed in phagocytosis, the antigens will then be placed on the surface of that phagocyte or macrophage, and that is now an antigen presenting cell. So we've got an antigen presenting cell just here. The helper T cells, which are a type of T lymphocytes, they actually have receptors on their surface. And those receptors are able to bind to antigens which are being presented on the antigen presenting cell. Now, when that happens, when they attach together, it activates these helper T cells and that activation causes them to start to divide by mitosis and they will then replicate to make large numbers of clones. So this diagram here is actually going into more detail than you need, but it's just to give you an overall idea of this attachment um, between the receptor and the antigen. Step four, that's not the end. So step four, we've now had lots and lots of mitosis to create this large number of T helper cells. And those will then differentiate into different cells or stimulate different cells. So one thing that could happen is, some of those cells will remain helper T cells and they will then go on to activate B cells. The B cells are in the humoral response, which is going to be in a later video. Some will stimulate macrophages, which are the phagocytes, which will then undergo phagocytosis and destroy any pathogens. Some will become memory cells and they will store a memory of that particular shaped antigen. Some will become cytotoxic T cells or killer T cells. And that's what we're going to focus on next, these killer T cells or cytotoxic cells. 
So cytotoxic T cells, these can destroy abnormal or infected cells. What they will do is release a protein. And this protein is called perforin. Perforin is able to embed into the cell surface membrane of whichever infected cell um, it's attached to. And when it does that, it actually makes a pore or a hole in that cell surface membrane. And the result of that is any substance can enter or leave the cell and that causes cell death. So this is most common in viral infections because viruses will replicate within your body cells. So as a result, the cytotoxic T cells will release this perforin that embeds into your cells, cell surface membrane, causing your own body cells to die. But that is the sacrifice to prevent the virus from being able to replicate and infect even more of your body cells. So just an example down here, when you have a bad cold and you have a sore throat, the reason you actually have a sore throat is the cytotoxic T cells are destroying the cells in the back of your throat which are infected with the virus. And if they can then destroy all of the infected cells, then that will mean it can't replicate further and it can't go on to cause any more damage. So in summary, the cell mediated response involves the response of T lymphocytes to antigens on the cells. Antigen presenting cells could be phagocytes, abnormal self cells, non self cells from a transplant or infected body cells. Helper T cells divide by mitosis to become more helper T cells, which will then stimulate the B cells and phagocytosis, or they could become T memory cells or cytotoxic T cells. Cytotoxic T cells will kill the infected body cells by releasing perforin, and that protein creates pores in the cell surface membrane, which causes the cell to shrivel or lice. So that is it for the cell mediated response. For practice questions, head over to missestrick.com, and if you have found this helpful today, then please do give it a thumbs up.